Look, the tilapia are trying to go in. And then the fish swims in. See that, guys? A molly. Ow! Well, what's up, Raw fam? So today we're gonna be doing an epic video. We're gonna go off and catch some massive mollies with this huge homemade molly trap. Let's do it. So the first thing we have to do today in order to catch some massive wild mollies, these things are super rare and uh, there's very little spots in Florida that actually have them this big. We're gonna go off, we're gonna catch them with this but now I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can do it at home. All right guys, so the first thing that you guys need to do in order to make this trap, you're going to have to cut this top off. Let's just look down right here. And uh, basically what I have, I have a little, uh, this is a little Sharpie, and we're gonna make a line to cut out. And there's a little bit of weird grooves for the most part, yeah, there you go. That's exactly what we're expecting, you see that? And that's just like a rough estimate of what I actually have to cut. See that? So uh, the first thing we need to do, first thing we need to do, get a razor blade and make your first initial cut. Initial cut, right there. See that? Alright guys, so something a little bit stronger than those little uh, metal uh, pieces. We're gonna use zip ties instead because I know they're a lot stronger than paper clips. Um, what we did is we basically made a bunch of holes. We drilled holes with a with a with a drill, and then we drilled holes in here, and then uh, we're basically gonna tie it together with zip ties, and then we're gonna have our trap. And there is your, your fish trap, see? Now let's cut off the, the loose ends. There we go, you see? So basically you set it in the water, um, you fill it about halfway up, and then uh, you put the bread and stuff, that's your bait, and then the fish swims in, and then he has nowhere to go, and you grab this by the little handle, and you pick it up, and then now you have some rare, exotic mollies. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, YouTube. I just showed you guys a trick. This is how I get all my mollies. And the only thing about this trap, guys, is you see this? Whenever you guys want your fish to come out, um, you just cut that, and then you open it up, and then that's how you get your fishies out. We have an epic finished molly trap. Always gotta get the thumbnails. <laughs> All right, Raw fam, so I know I'm in these little waders, and it's really funny, but we have the fish trap, and uh, we have our, our catfish food. And uh, we're gonna just take this, pour it in. Perfect. And throw that over there. We're getting bombarded by animals, look. <laughs> Hi guys. So I'm showing you guys that this trap works. If this little guy right here was a fish, watch what would happen. Swim in. You smell it? Oh yes, he's trying to go right into the hole. You see the hole? Look, we're just gonna leave the we're gonna leave the trap here, 
and she would see how it would work in the wilds. Look, how, how do I get in? How do I get in? And there's their opening. <laughs> so we know that the trap works, it's animal approved. Now we just gotta go see if it's fish approved. And that's all she wrote. Oh. Blake, come help me. Oh. Oh. And now we shall wait. Look at it working. Yeah, you guys see them going in there? I know we got a bunch of little ones already in the trap. It's been in there for probably 30 seconds. But um, yeah, I, we're gonna get so much different stuff in there, it's not even gonna be funny. Look, the tilapia are trying to go in. We're gonna get a huge tilapia, bro. All right guys, so we're going to let this trap sit and soak. Um, we're gonna let it soak for about an hour um, and then we're gonna go off, check it, and then whatever we catch, we catch. 12 seconds later. Now it's time to see what we got. Pick all the duck food. Oh. See them all? Alright guys, so that was an epic fail. I mean, this it, it wasn't the trap's fault, it was it was the placer, it was my fault. Um, you guys remember this pond is like black tar. This is the black tar pond that literally has like a hundred a million seven hundred thousand views. This pond is basically black tar and it's nasty and it's okay. I barely went in and I'm like still covered in black tar. Um, <clears throat> this thing filled up, I literally had to go wash this thing out. This thing filled up with uh, with mud and it didn't allow any food or bait, anything like that to go inside of this trap. Long story short, I know what I'm doing now. We're gonna go take it and put it on the other side of the pond. I'm looking for a molly. Um, I'm not really expecting anything else. There's a bunch of placos in here, so, I mean, by default, one can swim in. So last time I put way too much duck food um, to where it was pouring out. This time I tried a lot less duck food. Maybe, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Um, we'll be back in like 30 minutes, and we'll check it then. 12 seconds later. Gotta get some water. Um, uh, I mean, I hope. Um, the only thing is, is, like, if we don't get any mollies, then we could still get the minnows that we get because I know we're gonna have minnows and we could give the minnows to the clown knife that we got so it's a win-win the, the trap should work I mean it kind of worked last time but I mean I don't really count that so let's look this is what we got to deal with guys come here guys this is it's like black tar in here guys I hope it didn't fill up with black tar One jumped out, see? Put him back in. Dang, a lot jumped out, what the heck? Sorry guys, a bunch of mosquito fish jumped out. Come right here.
Want to help me out, Blake? Mm -hmm. So whenever the water floods here, um, we get these because they have no idea where to go. You gonna keep it? Yeah, I'm gonna hang it up. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. That's nasty. You do the phone call. Skeleton still works. I already know that it worked. Um, as I was letting some water out, a bunch of mosquito fish were flying out of there left and right. So that means we will definitely have fish food for the clown knife. Um, this is gonna be epic. It, it already works, so it's a, it's, a, it's a win video already. So, let's see. I just wonder how many we got. And we got this little, right there. See that? That's the little hole. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Look, what the heck is that? Uh, I think it's a blue tilapia, look. Oh no. Go little fishies. Look at this, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's a win. Epic, we have a blue tilapia right here. Little guy. Hi, buddy. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the same blue tilapia. Oh, look. No, get this little guy in there. Babe, look. See that guys? A molly. Yep. See that right there? Guys, look how cool that little guy is. And we have another molly in there too. Like, look how fat this molly is, bro. She is pregnant, huh? She's gonna be perfect for inside the little mini pond. Get her right back in there. All right guys, so we're gonna go off and change out the water real quick. Um, and then we're gonna get a good look at exactly what we caught in this little trap. But, guys, this fish trap was a success. It's awesome, it works. Cool. Holy smack, that is a lot of minnows. You guys see all those little guys? Oh yeah, back up, back up, back up. Guys, you see these little guys? Go little people, go. See this little girl? And then, that big guy, there. All right guys, so I think the molly trap was an extreme success. Look at these guys. Look how cool these guys are. Um, come on, see these little guys? This is, this is, <laughs> these, this is the beautiful molly that is gonna go inside in my fish tank. You see this guy? The male, see his little, see his little sword. See that? Look how pretty that is. And now we're gonna put this little guy back in there. And that's it. <laughs> All right guys, so this is gonna be the end of this part. I'm gonna take the camera, go off, and we're gonna take these guys inside. All right guys, so we have a whole bucket right here of um, little mosquito fish, see these little guys? And uh, we have a couple mollies. This bucket right here is filled up with duck food. This is the food we used in the trap, see it all? And uh, also more mollies. I just didn't wanna put that directly into the pond. Um, we're gonna fill this guy up with mosquito fish for the alligator gar, as you can see. And then we're gonna take the mollies inside to the new fish tank. They're gonna stay with the pike killifish. All right guys, so we have the pike killifish in here. See them right there. They are doing awesome. And uh, now we have time. We're gonna put this big old pregnant molly. Let's look at this big girl. Or, come on baby. Hi big girl. Ready to go in here? Oh, hi, buddy. And she's a big, fat, happy Molly. Hi, big girl. See how pretty he is? Welcome, buddy. Those are the new guys. Hope we don't have a war, but that is the male. That's the female. All right, guys, so we're over here. 
saying hi to my buddy. Hi, bud. Ugh. Ow! Ow! That hurt. But you're okay, buddy. You're good. I got you an awesome little bait right here from the minnow trap we just did. Yeah, buddy. I'm sorry. Guys, look. I'm bleeding. You ready, Cash? You ready, buddy? Nope. That's Cash. You ready, Cash? You ready for it? Let's do it, guys. Ow. Look, he's making me bleed everywhere. Jeez, oh, look at that. Oh. Gosh, guys. All right, guys, I'm done for today. My fish are savages. I need to go take a shower. I was just playing around in the dirt. Tomorrow is water change day, so maybe we'll make a video of that. I love you all, fan. These guys are epic. <laughs> Come here. Oh, 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 oh